The Foundation of Goodness was established in 1999 by Kushil Gunasekara to empower the less privileged rural communities of Sri Lanka. I originated from the village of Sinigama. I've always come back to my village and done whatever I can. 70% of Sri Lankans live in rural communities. In his home village of Sinigama in southern Sri Lanka, Kushil decided to turn his ancestral home into a place of giving. I was very fortunate to go to a premier school in Colombo and uh, have all the facilities and the exposure. So my heart, you know, vowed one day that compassionately I'm going to do the same thing in this village. Then on December 26, 2004, two tsunami waves created by a 9.0 earthquake 500 miles from the Sri Lankan shoreline swept upon Sri Lanka, killing 50,000 people, destroying 100,000 homes, and leaving 1.5 million people displaced. Fortunately, my villa did not perish. It was able to take on the onslaught and not collapse. Everyone came here looking for relief. This was like the operations command center. From the beginning of the recovery process, world-famous Sri Lankan cricketer Mutaya Murlithran, already a trustee with the Foundation of Goodness, gave immeasurable support as a humanitarian and a brand ambassador for the organization during this difficult time. It's amazing how worldwide uh, caring donors have come to rescue us. Through 30 improvement categories, including health, education, sports, women's enterprise, and elder care, these 30 sectors of empowerment have become the backbone of the foundation of goodness's success. I would like to say, on behalf of the MCC, thank you for using what we've been able to offer in such a magnificent way. Because of its success, the Foundation of Goodness has received attention from celebrities, filmmakers, and media companies around the world, including a visit from Anthony Bourdain during the fifth season of his award-winning show on the Travel Channel, No Reservations. As Kushil takes us around the facility, it's clear that this has evolved into far more than a temporary fix. His organization, the Foundation of Goodness, has established a wide range of services, all open to the public at no cost. So it's become a gigantic project that I never dreamt of. Mm -hmm. but the and growing. Yeah. He's gone beyond rebuilding to advance an entire community, way past where they were before the waves came. So today, after four years, we have 30 different sectors now serving 20,000 villagers in 25 different communities. This model could be replicated in other developing nations. Can you come to New Orleans? They, they need your help there still. As they say, you know, we make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. And to that end, we've been able to create something really tangible for donors to be very proud of. The more they saw things that were happening, they were very interested in collaborating with us. Just as much as the forces of the water took everything away, the waves of compassion that came along has really helped us to restart a brand new life, so to say. And in a way, this was a tragedy, no doubt, but I'm trying to make this setback a real blessing. Now, over 25,000 lives have been touched in 38 villages, forever changing this region for the better. But Sri Lanka now faces a new challenge, a civil war that began in 1983 between the Tamil Tigers of the North and the Sri Lankan government finally ended in May of 2009. This nearly 30-year war has left much of the North in extreme poverty. 80 to 100,000 lives were lost and hundreds of thousands of people displaced. But with the help once again from Sri Lanka's cricketing great Mutaya Murlithar and a site of land located in the northern town of Mongkolam, the Foundation of Goodness has a new dream, the North Development Project. The children who lived, uh, started their life in say 90s and 80s, they haven't seen electricity, they haven't seen TV, they haven't seen anything. We wanted to get the children out, uh, out of their shells, so to say, you know, they have been seeing lots of fighting and um, gunfire, and that has been really traumatizing. Using the same model, same strategy, and same sectors of empowerment from its success in the South, the Foundation of Goodness has already begun to make a difference in those poverty-stricken areas. Delivering 760 essential school supply packs, 125 bicycles for transportation, kerosene lamps, mosquito nets, 100 essential housing supplies, and cricket equipment, including 100 bats and balls for students. The other day I gave 
uh, you know, electricity to a, a lady who was 78 years of age. She had to wait 78 years to get four bulbs into a house for hundred dollars, you know, and she was crying. Because of the generous help from Morley and many others, the people of the North have started to put their lives back together. But in order to achieve long-term self-sustainable rural empowerment in the region and to build an infrastructure of enterprise, healthcare, sports, and education programs, we need your help. Your donation can make a difference. The Foundation of Goodness projects that over 50,000 people of the North can benefit from these services. I think it's about awareness, and that's what we're here to, is to create awareness. You need to do something to tell people it's actually here. Come and have a look. Your donation can help make this dream a reality. From a very difficult time, which was so tragic, and for us to have been able to build it back better is more thrilling than anything that life can offer.